Don't ask prudence. It's better not to know. Correction, we can't know what the end will be. You and I are doomed, yes, but the doom's an open one. Dum loquimur fugerit invida aitas. Carpe diem, quam minimum credula postero. I suppose this is Horace's most famous phrase, but by far, carpe diem, you know, it's given name to a thousand restaurants all over the world. Um, but I think it's usually mistranslated as seize the day. What I think is that carpe diem comes from the action of plucking, picking a grape. Now, you can't seize a grape. If you seized a grape, you'd squash it. But you need to pick it. You need to pick it very carefully and gently with just the right amount of pressure. And then you need to taste it. If you're a winemaker, one of the most important things to do is to keep tasting grapes. You can't find out when the right moment for the harvest is until you taste that the grape is perfectly ripe. So all that comes together for me to suggest that that's what Horace is really talking about. He's talking about savouring the day, getting the ultimate taste out of it. And that's something that can be done quite gently uh, and not this violent seizing, which I think we're rather obsessed with nowadays. Thank you.